Hi, today we're making junk journal embellishments from scraps. Let's get started. So this is what an example of what they look like. And they're just to put on pages in your junk journal to decorate. And I just wanted to show you some other things that I made with them. So this is just the first set. I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the way. And then I decided once I had these little tags and different embellishments, then I would put them on and use them for other items. So this one I made into like a little tag and then I put um, a little uh, heart on there. I just thought that would be cute. And then these I made some twisted tangles to hang off of like a page in a junk journal. Um, I just thought they were so cute. And then I put some of the these embellishments uh, on the front of the twisted tangle. So I thought that was a cute idea. So here's another one of those twisted tangles with the embellishment on the front. And then this one actually has a little card. Um, like this is one of the embellishments and I just put it in the twisted tangle. So you could do that. That's an example as well. And then this one I made like a little journaling card for inside of your journal. And, and I used this, um, these embellishments from scraps and then I put a little tab on it and then I put um, some journaling paper on the back so you could write on it. And then this one is like a little scrappy pad that I made and then I stuck one on there. So that's an idea. And then this one is a belly band that um, I saw um, on another channel on Camellia Crafts Designs. And then you just take the belly band and you open it up and then inside of the belly band, there's some journaling space. So you can write here or here. And then I put one of our little embellishments right here. So these are all just ideas to use these embellishments we're making today on. So let's get started. The first thing that I did was I found some, you could use any kind of boxes that you have. This was a, a soda box, a San Pellegrino soda box. And then I just cut it into squares. So you could use this to make these embellishments. Or I have these little cards that come um, in a, a journal subscription that I have for, um, Planner Perfect, and they're just like little postcards. So you could use these, and these are kind of a little bit lighter weight. So this, these work too. So you could do um, a heavier weight um, cardboard or a lighter weight cardboard. We'll just do one of each. Okay, and then we just need to get our scraps out. And so I just have like a container with all these different scraps and things in it. And I'll just set that here. And then we need a glue stick or whatever kind of glue that you want to use. And then this is just my little glue book. So we're just going to go ahead and take um, our scraps and collage them on here. And I'll speed this part up and then I'll catch back up with you when I'm done.
Okay, so this is what they look like so far. So we've just finished our collaging portion and they're a little bit sticky. What I want to do next is I want to go ahead and just trim them up. And you know, I should have <laughs> done this side up, uh, but that's okay because I'm going to use them either way. So we could have covered that up and just had the brown on the back, but so like this. I'm just trimming off the edges. Okay, those look good. I had to clean up my hands because I had glue all over them. The next thing that we're going to go ahead and do, I'm just going to go ahead and distress them just a little bit with this vintage photo. So I'm just going to kind of do this on the front a little. Just on any of the real white edges of the tears. And you don't have to do this. This is totally your project. We'll do whatever, whatever you like. That looks good to me. Now on the other, um, on Camellia Crafts, she painted hers with some watercolors to muddy them up. So you could do that as well. I just decided to do this instead. Okay, I like that. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and get out whatever rubber stamps that we have and then we're going to, I'll just put them side by side like this, and then we're going to um, rubber stamp like little images all over them just to make them kind of haphazard looking. I have a couple of examples. So these are examples of some other ones that I've done and I haven't cut them up yet but we're gonna go ahead and just be doing the stamping on these right now. So I just used this um, Stampers Anonymous collection, the Field Notes. I really like that collection. I'm gonna use, I think I'll use purple. This um, Dusty Concord. You can use whatever you like. going to use some of the numbers that I have and I have gathered twigs here so I'm just using whatever ones I want. I think I'll put I like this one. I'm going to use this one. This one, and I also have some um, black ink.
I'll put some more numbers on, I think. Maybe some pink numbers. They don't have any red stamp pads. So I'll just use this one. Okay, those look good. Next thing that I'm going to go ahead and do, oh, you know what? I wanted to put some of this writing on one of them, or maybe on both, just a little bit of that. I'm gonna do it with the black. Oh yeah, that looks cool. So then the last thing that I want to add to them is um, I don't have the little spray bottles of the Distress Oxide, but I have some reinkers from the Distress Oxide from um, Tim Holtz. I have these two colors, Vintage Photo and Weathered Wood. Those are the two that I use the most. And so instead of using the spray bottle, I'm just going to go ahead, because I wanted to use what I had, just going to go ahead and do this all over them. Okay, and then I'm going to use the other color that I have, the weathered wood. And then I'm going to take my paper towel that I have and just dab all over it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these dry and then I'll catch back up with you once they've dried. Okay, so we're back and they're dry. And so you can either dry them with a heat gun or just wait and let them dry. And then if there's any little edges that are poking up or anything like that, then I just use the glue and just kind of glue it down. And then now um, what you can do is in the other videos, I saw that they were doing like a black um, ink um, line around each tag that they were cutting. But I decided what I would do is just go ahead and cut some of them out so I can use up all of the paper. And maybe make some smaller tags. So let's see. I think. So what I have done is just cut out some different shapes and what I'd like to do is round the corners. Now you could do whatever you want with your little ephemera. I'm going to go ahead and round the corners on a few of these. And then I'm going to go ahead and dress around the edges. Okay. 
These look so cute. I really love how they turned out with all these scraps. And then I was thinking I have this little thing of ephemera, like little Tim Holtz ephemera. And I'm going to go ahead and add some. Like add that. And this maybe. Yeah, I like that. pop up this little hole. Well, that's cute. I like how that turned out. So that'll be nice uh, ephemera in my, one of my journals. And then let's see what else we can make. Maybe like that. And that. Oh, that's cute. I like that. So I'm just going to glue on half of this. That's cute. I like how that one turned out. Okay, and then Oh, that's neat. Oh, maybe like that. I like that. Cute. Oh, I like that one. Let's see, does that need anything else? Like a little butterfly, maybe? Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna do it. There we go. That's cute. I like how that one turned out. And of course you can ink around these if you want. Maybe do it before you stick it on there, but that's cute. Cute. Okay, and then let's see. Okay, and there's another one. So, but you get the gist of all this. You can make whatever you like with whatever ephemera that you have, whatever stamps that you have. I love these. They're so cute. They look like something you would buy at a store. I mean, I just think that they're super cool. So I think that you should go ahead and try to make these because you will have a lot of fun with it. And, um, I, I just think that the possibilities are endless. So I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.